Hi all and welcome. My name is Alex Baumberg, VP of Delivery and Customer Success from Outburn. I am honored to introduce you to Fume, a cutting cage fire converter engine designed to work with any platform as API and fully support conversion to and from fire to any input data format, including HSA and V2. I will focus now on demonstrating an integrated solution of Fume with Iris for health platform that enables you to transform the HL7 V2 message into fire resource, which are conforming to valid profiles. In the frame of the current demo, we will see an ORU message transformation. The solution includes Fume, our mapping engine, our Iris Fume plugin, and Iris. The plugin function is a portal for the system analyst or any other user and includes all the components required in order to configure the transformation process. They are Fume Designer, the front-end part of Fume, a convenient UA environment for preparing transformation mappings. Routing Rules Editor, component aimed to configure the routing rules between messages and transformation maps. Conversion Tester, enables you to test your transformation for input data and, of course, logs. Now, we will build a transformation map from a blood pressure HL7 ORU message to the fire observation resource. The resource will conform to the standard HL7 blood pressure profile as Fume enables you to easily and seamlessly conform to core or local profiles. Let's open Designer. The design has three panes. The left side shows the source message, in our case, the HL7 ORU message. The right upper window is used for creating the transformation map. On the bottom, we will see transformation result in real time in JSON dynamically according to your definition in the upper frame. The Fume transformation engine uses a flash syntax developed by Outburn, which is based on JSON ATA and Fire shorthand scripts. Fume uses predefined resources and profile templates, providing capabilities for easy and straightforward transformation process. You can see the list of all resource templates here, according to the standard and the same from profile templates. Let's build our transformation. Just a short notice before where I am starting. To save time, I will use a prepared expression. Obviously, there is a, this is a very minimal demonstration, but it's important to make it clear it's not a POC. Fume is fully functional and already in production in several organizations. Okay, let's take our source message and put it on th to the uh, source pane and transform it to the JSON format based on the HL7v2 message type and schema. The next step is to select observation blood pressure profile from the list of available profile templates. You can see the resource created automatically in the result pane. Now we will map elements from the source message to the appropriate elements within the profile templates. First of all, let's define ID for this resource. Let's assume that ID is defined in our case by client. There are many options to make it happen. In our case, we will use a flash function called UUID, which is automatically creating GUID-based ID. Here is it, you can see it here. The next one, we will create the status, which is defined as a mandatory for a standard from Okay, you can see it here. You can see the transformation result in the result pane. Then we will define and map an effective daytime. It is not but mandatory, but very important to have it within the resource. Here is it. You can see the result. The next one, we will take the systolic and diastolic values. Okay, and map it in appropriate and correlated places. All right, here is it. We automatically got the result correlated, of course, with the source message, 125 for systolic. And the same we will do for diastolic. Here is it. We got it. 95. It is correlated with the result of diastolic pressure. And the last one, and very important, we would like to create references to patient and encounter. So for this purpose, we will use the flash function called literal, which is automatically resolving the patient and encounter and other resources logical ID by a 
certain expression. In, in our case, we will use identifiers. So we're just taking the expression and put it in front of the subject reference here. We're opening it and putting here the dollar sign. It's called usage of expression, of context expression and context variable. We are not going to deep dive currently into functionality, but if you are interested to understand more, you are welcome to our boot and we will deep dive together into wider functionality of our product. Okay, the same I'm doing for encounter. And here is it. You can see references for patient encounter automatically resolved from the server. It is because we already have patient and encounter with the appropriate identifiers stored within the iris fire repository perfect now let's save the complete map it's a name that i would like to give to our map once it's safe we can initiate the transformation by passing the source and map to the api the next step we will set the routing rules which call the appropriate map based on the logical expression for each of the source message the expression syntax is based on the flash and provides broad flexibility to set any logical condition. The rule set is created once for each incoming source message type and can then be reused as often as needed. In the list below, you can see previously defined rules for different type of incoming messages as an example for a DTHL 7 v2 message. Okay, let's create the routing rule for the, the map we just created before. So I'm taking the same source message put in here and convert it to JSON. I have to assign name for my role. Then I have to choose the map previously created and saved BP test uh, into the few map drop down list and actually define the logical expression. In our case, we will base our, our rule on the message type and blood pressure observation code. Now, the last step, we can validate the rule, make sure that uh, our rule is uh, will works in appropriate way and save the rule. Next, we will perform the real-time transformation emulating the production process. This is the last step before configuring the Aris business service for accepting source message and storing the resulted resources within the fire repository. The transformation product, a blood pressure resource, will reference the patient and encounter resources previously created as a result of ADT message transformation using Fume bundle map. Okay, so let's execute the transformation. So I will take the same source message and put it here. Click on convert. We got a success acknowledgement in the bottom window. So we know that ADT, that our use sorry message was created as an observation resource. We can see the location here to the to the uh, resource stored by the server. So we can basically use the met, uh, get method to retrieve it. In our case, what we will do, we will use we will use a visualizer bundle visualizer in order to see our result. So I have a predefined query here. Click on test. Click on view bundle, and I can see basically all resources referred to this patient, and one of them. It is exactly the resource that we populated before. As you can see, it's here 125, 95, 95 effective date time in reference to our resources. Fume does the work. In a couple of words, we would like to uh, I would like to provide you information about Aris production structure. Uh, the Aris production is based on the following models. Iris Business Service, which is responsible for accepting incoming messages. Iris Business Process, manage the few managing calls and fire resources store process. And two, Business Operation. One of them is responsible for calling the fume engine. And the second one is for performing restful operations against the fire Iris repository. In addition, it is very important to mention that we are having very comprehensive log, which is providing you step-by-step -step information about uh, the uh, perform process and you can use always use the visual trace 
a tool in order to get the information about the entire process. All right, so we finished. To wrap up what we saw here, during the demo, we created the transformation map for transforming HL7v2 to fire observation BP resource configured environment and executed transformation, which eventually stored into the Iris Fire repository. Want to hear more or deep, dive deeper into fire conversion for your use case? You are welcome to visit our Outburn booth and schedule one-to-one -one deep dive demonstration. Thanks for your participation and attention.